All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today I'm making a video to show how to make your own striping kit for an Arians 42-inch mower. Um, this should be applicable to numerous applications. First thing you're going to need is I went to Tractor Supply and got a 3x4 half-inch uh, rubber mat. I believe it's technically called a rubber stall mat. Um, you're going to take your measurements. I already did this. You're going to take your measurements. I plan on using these holes and you're going to cut your mat. But the tools you're going to need is a drill, tape measure, razor knife. I'm using a paint pen and a, uh, a square. Um, as far as the rest of the material, I went to Tractor Supply. I got the rubber mat and I got these Clevis pins, 3 8 by 2 inch. These will fit in these holes. My plan is to use the pins to install the mat and it have like a uh, like a quick connect type of thing. Um, I figured it'd be a little bit easier in case I ever have to take it off. I can just take out the cotter pins or the R clips and it'll be a quick release instead of having to get a you know a wrench back here or a wrench in the front and turn it away. You know, it'd be nice and quick. So after you have your mat cut, uh, the width of the back of my mower is 21 and an eighth. Um, I'm keeping the mat width between the tires. What I'm going to do to transfer these holes over is I'm going to get some painter's tape and I'm going to lay it out across, mark my holes, and then transfer it over to the rubber mat. So stand by and I'm going to do that and show you how we transfer these holes over to the mat. All right, so I got my painter's tape on there. I marked my holes, I'm gonna pop holes through them. Um, I'm doing one more hole in the middle. I'm gonna use a 3 8 drill bit. I'll pop that hole through. And we'll see how this works. All right, so I got my 3 8 drill bit. I got my hole marked. We're gonna drill her. Got the hole popped. That steel is a little thicker than I thought it was. <laughs> or my drill bit sucks. Now I'm going to poke these holes. Got all three. Now we can transfer this piece of tape over to my mat. Alright, I got my holes transferred over to the rubber mat. Now I'm going to drill these three holes. Hang on. All right, first hole's drilled. You gotta watch the drill bit that it doesn't walk away on you. It's a little difficult. Um, I'll try and film the next one. Three holes are drilled. Let's line it up. All right, so actually before we line it up, I'm gonna set up these pins. I'm gonna have washers on both sides. Jeez.
third one for the hole we drilled. I'm gonna take these, put them through the back. Oh, this one's a little tight. All right, this one was a little tight. I had to ream out the hole just a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna take the mat, kind of line up these holes. It's kind of self-explanatory. I need a little lube. Yeah, lube's probably a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of lube. Get it to go through these holes a little easier. Oh, look at that, right through. Perfect. Last one. All right. Reach in the back. This one went through a little. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to take some more washers. I figure maybe it'll help uh, protect the rubber a little bit. Gonna spin these, find the best hole to use. Okay. All right. Take the R clip. Push right through. Now this might, these might wiggle around and might make a little bit of noise, but these are quick and easy to get off when necessary. That should be enough. If it's not, if it's too long for in reverse and it doesn't just roll over, I'm gonna have to shorten up the length and that's a nice, nice and easy fix. I'm gonna test it out and I'll get a video. Just finished cutting the lawn. This is how the mat worked out. Very good stripes.